Okay. This is my third attempt to shoot a video out here at Eaton's Reserve while it's nice and pretty and snowy. So I'm just going to do a little bit. As twice people have called me, I'm taking this on my phone, and when they call, it just kills the video. I had one that was 15 minutes long. I think it, I think it got wiped out. Another one that was like 10 minutes long. That got wiped out, so I'm going to try and keep this short. Uh, this is the east branch of the DuPage River here, behind these trees. Uh, this area here is all native grasses and prairie plants planted by the park district. I actually helped them plant up back up that way a couple of summers ago, some of the native plants out here. Now, I wanted to show this to my friend Janine who lives in Australia and she's never really seen snow. So I wanted to show you Janine what it looks like around here in the Midwest when it's snowy. Especially out in the natural areas. Uh, only that one really gray tree in the middle there is dead. The rest of these are alive, except that obviously, but um, they just lost their leaves because it's winter. There's folks from the park district here. And uh, this plant here. You can see it, Janine. It's called thistle. I don't know if they have that where you're at, but uh, those blooms in the late summer are vivid purple. Just, just very vivid purple. You can see a little bit more of the river here. Yeah. This used to be an old farm. The farmer donated land to the park district here when they quit farming. Now, for those of you not in Australia, not Janine, her nickname is Spinny. She has a really cool website at www.spinnies.com. And it's got this really neat castle where you can wander around in it by clicking on different things. It'll let you wander in different areas of the castle. I suggest checking it out. She does a lot of beautiful artwork and really good poetry, too. So if you like either, that's a good site to visit. I myself do a lot of poetry. And uh, I've got over 1,500 poems in the document library at lightverse.com under Daniel A. Stafford. And I'm probably going to write about today at some point. Um, hopefully I can get this video shot all the way. There's another kind of interesting plant here. This is a very small example of it. That's goldenrod. When it uh, when it dries up, that's actually it there. That's goldenrod. In the summer, it's much taller than that. That's just a small one or two. You can see a couple over here that are taller, but they grow little yellow flowers all up that part that looks like a seed pod there. And they start low down and then the flowers start blooming all up and down that thing. Little small yellow flowers about maybe the size of the tip of your pinky. Now the barn over there that's from the original farm. The farmhouse you're seeing is across the street. It's not part of this farm. That's part of the other farm across the street that's actually still a working farm. 
if the farmhouse was still here, it would be right between us and that brick farmhouse that you're seeing. And it would be sitting just past that low barn and the uh, bare foundations that are in front of it. In the fall of 2005, had an absolutely stunning fallout here. The weather conditions were perfect. Everything turned colors all at once. And it, uh, it just was absolutely beautiful. I've got a, just a, probably a hundred or so uh, digital stills with my four megapixel camera from out here that fall. And they're, it's just amazing shots. That's me in the yellow truck over there, parked up there. Now, there's the pavilion where a lot of times I'll come out and play saxophone in the morning on the way home from work. If you look close right there, you can see part of the old farm fence that was here. A lot of thistles right in here. I wish I could show you milkweed pod, but that's only in the fall. It's already blown away by now. Yeah, scenery like that. That's why I call the, mid the official color of the Midwest is tawny. All the golds and browns and russets. Just like that. Now, this river, the DuPage River here, it's about a, only a third as wide as the Rock River, which is the river that goes right through the heart of the town I grew up in, which is Beloit, Wisconsin. It's right on the uh, border of Illinois and Wisconsin. We're almost right in the middle of the state line. If you go to South Beloit, you're in Illinois. All you have to do is cross the street in Beloit. You cross Sherlin Avenue into South Beloit, and there you go. You're in Illinois. Here, we're in the far western Chicago suburbs, about 50 miles west of Chicago, uh, generally southwest, uh, next to Joliet and Bolingbrook. But this is Plainfield here. And... Uh, and this is Eaton Preserve. It's about an eighth of a mile east of 135th Street and Route 59. That stoplight off in the distance, that's the intersection of 135th and 59. And uh, this is on the south side of 135th Street. And this belongs to the Plainfield Park District. And I think I'm going to stop there while I'm ahead, and hopefully I can get this video to save.